Now, one of the things that you're obviously going to have to deal with in InDesign is placing multiple photos into a document like we've done before, like the Hot Wheels catalog. So I wanna show you a feature called Contact Sheet Cascade. I'm gonna to go to File and Open. In Chapter 4, Folder 13, I'm gonna open up this little one-page toy flyer here. And again, I don't need to worry about the fonts right now. I'll just close that up. What I wanna do is look at my layers, and I have a layer for pictures. Okay, we've got, let's see, Wave 1 is four little toys, Wave 2 is two more, Wave 3 is canceled. So we got four, five, six toys to lay out on this flyer. So if I hit Command D for a document, I go out to Chapter 4, Folder 13, and I have these six photos. Okay, the Mighty Mugs logo is this logo here. I don't need that. So we'll take Mighty Mug 1, 2, 3, 4 from Wave 1 and 1 and 2 from Wave 2. All six photos. The problem is when I click open, it's going to show me what the photo that I'm about to drop looks like. But when I click, I mean, one photo is almost the size of the page. And I still have five more photos to go. That's crazy. So if I keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking, that overwhelms the flyer. That's stupid. So I'm going to select those and delete them. Okay, what I want to do is drop them in as a little grid, like one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and then two, and then two. I'm going to hit Command D for a document, select these six again. Now, when I click open, before I click and drag, on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the Command and Shift key, and I get a grid next to my cursor. This little grid is the contact sheet cascade feature. Just like if you've ever worked in a photo, um, photo developing lab, you make a contact sheet. You make little uh, grids of your film negatives so you can kind of look at which photo you want to develop. Well, this is kind of the same thing. I'm going to lay out a grid of photos. Holding Command and Shift, I click and drag. Now that I can see the grid, I can let go of the keyboard, not my mouse, just the keyboard. And this gives me a grid of nine. I only wanted six. So while I'm holding down my mouse, I hit the right arrow key. You can see that adds more columns. The left arrow key subtracts the amount of columns. The up arrow key adds more rows to my grid. The down arrow key subtracts the amount of rows until I can dial in six boxes. So I'll drag them out to here. Let go of my mouse first. And there are my toys. Okay, if I dragged and the boxes were a little bit larger than the uh, photos or whatever, I could always go to Object, Fitting, and Fit frame to the content just to make sure it wraps around each photo perfectly so I'm gonna go to the stroke right up here there is no stroke so I'm gonna hit the up arrow maybe we'll add a three-point stroke around each photo kind of like that give it a little more definition but I also don't like how tightly spaced these are together so I'm gonna select all six Go down to the bottom right corner and I'm going to press and hold for a second. Now I hold my space bar and I pull my mouse. And I can just kind of separate these a little bit more like that. Give them a little more breathing room between each one. Now these first four are wave one. So now I can pull the grid apart by selecting these two. Hit the down arrow. Kind of bring those down a little more. In case I wanted to put titles like wave one wave two in my design or whatever whatever the case may be but now you know how to use contact sheet cascade i'll do it one more time here command d for a document select as many photos as you want i just starting out simple with six 
and before you click and drag, you hold Command key and Shift key. There is your contact sheet, cascade, grid. You click and drag while holding Command and Shift. Now you can let go of the Command and Shift key. Don't let go of your mouse. And by using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can design as many grids or grid quadrants as you want. Right arrow, down arrow, up arrow, left arrow. And you just keep toggling with these until you get just the right amount that you want. So I want two and hit the up arrow. There we go. Two across, then the next row, two across, then the next row, two across. I let go of my mouse and I'll make them really long so you can see this. So when I stretch these boxes longer than the size of the photos, here's what's going to happen when I add an outline. Okay, the photo is smaller than the box itself and that can happen a lot. So all you need to do, like I showed before, you select all of them. If the frame doesn't match the photo like we've done right here and go to object menu, fitting, fit frame to content and that'll kind of snap right to the edges and there we go if i don't like the spacing like there's barely any space between but a lot of space right here i press and hold on the bottom right corner hold my space bar we'll decrease the amount there and increase it over here just like that so i can kind of balance out the layout of this grid and this grid it can totally be pulled apart like I said, I can take these bottom two, hit the down arrow and just separate those two from the other four in wave one. And you get the idea by using contact sheet cascades to develop grid layouts as you are simultaneously placing your photos. Really cool trick here in InDesign.